You know, I think this is probably the longest um, it's ever taken me to get one of these things started today. Because usually, you know, I have a little outline of what I want to do, and then I get going, right? And start talking about things like when I talk about, you know, talked about, like for instance, the last one I did here was back sometime in the fall. I talked about the, um, the uh, search for the Kia Soul. And as you know, if you've read down below about, what, three or four journal entries down, I got one. And so that's great. And uh, when I do video journals from the car, you know, I, you know, do a little preparation and then just go. But this one, I spent about, you know, 10 minutes just sitting here kind of staring at myself, trying to figure out just how I wanted to start it. And so I guess this is how I'm going to start it. Talk about how I couldn't start it. But, you know, anyway, this is the uh, eve of the 16th anniversary of Schumann Web. 16 years ago today, I started Schumann Web as Ben Schumann's home on the internet. Yay. And uh, that was on members.aol.com. I know, right? That's kind of kind of dates it, doesn't it? And so, but yeah, 16 years ago, actually, technically speaking, tomorrow, it's 1030 at night as I'm recording this. But, you know, close enough. Happy anniversary to me. And uh, it'll be a Friday, too, so that'll be fun. And so, otherwise, this is also the first time I'm doing the... Uh, doing the video journal on my new desk, the glass desk. And I have to remember, don't touch the desk, because if I do, then the camera wiggles a little bit. I need to come up with some kind of stable or setup, because it's like the camera's wiggled already. But anyway, I was actually thinking, I couldn't, and one of the reasons, though, that I was sitting there, sitting there grinning like an idiot at myself for 10 minutes before starting this was because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. I thought about doing one of these kind of deals, and say, presenting Jimmy Webb's uh, 16th anniversary. Yes, that's it. I also thought about doing something like, let me show you, doing something like this with the phone and doing like, you know, presenting with the drum roll, you know, do the, you know, this kind of mover, presenting me. Yes. And by the way, that is exactly the way I shot all those pictures of myself uh, in the Power Rangers shirt on the Metro. Just like, you know, hold the phone up like that and do it. But yes, that was, you know, but yes, it's the things I think of. So, what else? But yeah, it's funny. I was actually kind of thinking about, you know, what I wanted to discuss. And one of the things, it's like 16 is, you know, 16 is the age when I started driving. On my 16th birthday. That's a chopper flying outside, and that's annoying. Don't you know I'm recording? Get lost. All right, good riddance. Anyway, see, they listen to me. Right. It's probably Air Force One. Is Obama going anywhere tonight? No, it couldn't be Air Force One. And Marine One's in... Wouldn't go... Oh, who knows? So Air Force One is a jumbo jet. This... That is a chopper. I don't know. The president can do what he wants. Doesn't ask... Doesn't ask my opinion. Um, so anyway... That was, I was distracted there. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. So, but yes, anyway, 16 is when I started, it's when I started driving, right? When I was back in 1997. And it's like, well, actually, that's when I got my license. I got my permanent fit, whatever. But it's like, I just remember, it's like, learning how to drive, that was fun. I learned how to drive on the Previa. And it was kind of fun, you know? I mean, you get to do, you know, you learn how to do this. I saw it the first time that uh, I ever hit the brake on that thing. That was kind of fun. I mean, well, I don't think Mom would have found it fun. Because she's telling me, you know, okay, do, you know, it's like, okay, cut off the brake. I come off the brake, the car starts rolling because it's an automatic, so it starts moving forward on its own. Mom, however, had not buckled her seatbelt yet, right? And so then I hit the brake. Boom, right? And she's like, whoa! Because <laughs> I didn't know you're supposed to gradually go on it. Shh. I just went, boom! And just hit it. And the car came to a quick stop. <laughs> That's usually the kind of thing where if you need to, if, you, if you're going to do this, what you do, you know, it's like this is the kind of thing you jam on your, on the brake with your foot, and then with the hand, to honk at the moron you just had to jam on your brake for. Because that's what we do up here. We honk. Yes, in the Washington, D.C. area, we honk at people. And that's just all there is to it. There is no getting around that. It's what we do. 
And so if you come here from out of town, do not yell at me about why I honk at people, because this is what we do. The horn is everything you can think of, all kinds of emotions, all wrapped up into to what? Can you hear it on the recording? There's a copter flying us up. They must have known I was doing this. It's probably it's probably one of those jackasses from Portal of Evil, you know, that uh, you know is jealous that I'm still here and they're not. And so, you know, just flying outside, disrupting my video journal. Okay. Anyway. Really? It's like as, as, as if I'm not scatterbrained enough. Okay, so back to where were we? Driving. Oh, yes. But yeah, that was kind of fun. And of course, then there was the time when it was also in that same period when learning how to drive and all that. The first time I ever to, um, I still remember one of the times, no, the first time I drove to Washington, D.C. was in the Previa. Um, but no, it was the first time taking the Siena up to Washington. That was in 1998. We went to the American History Museum. And it was, and it was interesting because it's like, unbeknownst to me, we didn't realize that we were about ready to leave. Uh, you know, I was holding the key because I was the one who drove. I dropped the key in the museum. I lost it at the gift shop, actually. It fell out of my pocket. I don't remember. I guess that's what happened. Sure. And so... It's like what you do. What you do when this happens. It's what happens. What the lesson learned there is: if your mother gives you the keys, you make sure those puppies are secured to something. Because I pulled out something else and it came out with it. So that's why my keys are all one thing, and it's you know they're all attached to something. So it's not going to go anywhere. My car key is not going to go anywhere, or anybody's car keys are not going to you know go anywhere. And so unless the whole thing is gone, then you'll know that's coming out because it's you know. So anyway. But yeah, mom was starting to panic, but we actually lost it in the gift shop. And it's, if you go to the American History Museum now, the gift shop is now up on the uh, main level. And then if you go, and then, but it used to not be there. It used to be down below. If you go all the way to the bottom level of the museum, there is a room when I was there, like, I think it was 2009? Yes, it was, 2009. When I went with mom more recently, that room was holding some little simulator thing, one of those things you get on, you know, and the thing goes like this. It was one of those. Hopefully that chopper went away, speaking of bad simulators. But, um, so it was, oh yes. So yeah, it was down in there. That's where we lost the keys. And it's just like, you know, it's like, you know, we're getting ready to flip out, or mom was getting ready to flip out. And so, yeah, they had found him in the gift shop and they were holding on to him. It's like, okay, good, we can go home now. Because otherwise, Dad would be um, having to come up and rescue us, and that would have been a bad thing if Mom had lost her keys. No, that chopper has not gone away yet. Why don't they know that I'm doing a video journal here? <clears throat> I think gets on my last nerve, you know that? But yeah, my 16th birthday, that was kind of funny just because it was the first time that Sis rode in the front seat with me. Because previous to that day, you know, everybody, whatever I'd had to drive, there had to be, you know, a, you know, adult, an adult there because they were, um, chopper. Thing is distracting. Okay, anyway, there was, there was, the, there was, you know, I have to have a licensed driver, obviously, and she was what? She was fifth grade. No, she wasn't. She was sixth grade. She was 12. So, yeah, couldn't, uh, she couldn't sit in front with me until then when then I had my own license and, you know, got to, like, you know, drive stuff. And so that was kind of fun. Who would ever think that I would, you know, be now, the Previa is now two cars removed from my current car because, you know, I had the Sable and I got rid of the Sable and got my Kia Soul. And so that's always kind of fun. Um, what else? Oh, and also another thing, and I'm, you can tell this is how the site evolved. And it's one of those things where it's like now, I, it's like in going through, let's just go back just a second. 
go I, you know in doing in doing all the stuff to make you know to convert the site to WordPress with Falcon um, what I have to do is can't they fly somewhere what are they doing what they're like hovering they're hmm Be right back. Let me look. Let me see what's going on because this is getting very annoying. I at least want to know what they're doing. All right. Hell of a story. Okay, it is flying, there is a helicopter flying right over there, just south of my street. It's just like hovering over the neighborhood. I'm like, what is going on? Okay, anyway. Ah, oh, God, I hate this. This is, it was quiet. And then I started recording. And then this chopper shows up. Anyway, back to this. Um, that noise. Anyway. Train of thought. Oh yes, in doing it for Falcon, I got to revisit all my old writings and photography, and you know I can kind of understand why they were, you know, why they did. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Uh, let's let's do this. I'm gonna start this video journal over. This recording is gonna go on the blooper reel because I am totally scattered, and I'm gonna close the door now and record this again. Because this is not going well. This is not going well at all. This is, uh, yeah, that noise is distracting enough. Okay, let's try this again.